Well, hey, Jackie, good afternoon to you. It really was the dining room hours for a free meal here at Cathedral Kitchen. They run from 3 o'clock to 5 o'clock most afternoons. But for the last couple of hours, we watched long lines of people around the staircase here stretching out onto the sidewalk. This is outreach teams are always seeking to get homeless individuals to a shelter, especially when it's going to get especially cold in the night. When the sun goes down, that temperature drop, as you know, can be dangerous, if not deadly. Sometimes you'll come outside and it's not so inviting due to the weather. Bundled up on the curb outside of Camden's Cathedral Kitchen, Alex Jones is among thousands facing food and sometimes shelter insecurity in South Jersey. And with the winter cold snap arriving early, it increases the amount of individuals that are seeking services. Volunteers of America's Delaware Valley chapter is deploying impact teams to find the homeless. They go out to um, homeless encampments. They go under Atlantic City Boardwalk. They go wherever we are notified that there is an individual that's in need of services and then try to get them linked up to those resources. The goal is to get them out of the elements and into a hotel or temporary shelter and then pair them with other wraparound social service resources, something they can find while having a warm meal at Cathedral Kitchen. We anticipate that a lot of our guests who are experiencing homelessness that they will um, come indoors as opposed to eating their meal maybe outside on uh, the street or the Herb. Jones says he is always ready with layers. It'll get even colder if you're not smart. But a warm meal can warm his soul. Today is one of my work days, but I come here for lunch. They serve a delicious lunch here. It can be linking them up with hotel services. It can be finding them resources for jobs, clothing, whatever the needs are. We do our intake and we assist them as best that we can. Now, traditionally summertime, that's when Cathedral Kitchen says it sees the largest number of homeless families when the kids are not in school. But it's not just Mother Nature, it's also inflation that is driving more people to seek social services. We'll have that coming up at 530, as well as a brand new space where personal care items are being handed out here. And they include warm uh, clothing, socks, hats, gloves and scarves. We'll have that for you when we see you on our 530 half hour. Reporting now in Camden, I'm Sydney Long, NBC 10 News.